Hello and welcome to more Pokemon! In the last episode, we made our way to the beautiful Celadon City and got ourselves our fourth badge. But let's go, Eevee! We need to go pursue our dreams of joining Team Rocket. Well, we left off last time inside the gym. We just beat up Erica, so now we're gonna ju jump down this ledge here, go through the beautiful flower archways, and get our way out of here. Now, we explored a little bit of Celadon City last time, but it is a very big city, so there's still quite a lot left to do here, especially the Celadon department store, the biggest shop in the entire game it is gosh dang gigantic but the first thing i want to do is go and chop down this tree right here and well we've got some buildings along the bottom which we did not explore last time so what do you say we start on the right you know the left side is going to be the best side so we'll save the best for last let's just start over here talk to this lady huh pokemon oh no this is a hotel for people and we're full up unfortunately you hear that guys pokemon are not people let's go talk to mr blue shirt guy why why did she bring her brother along too I came here on vacation with my brother and my boyfriend, just the three of us. Isn't Celadon a beautiful city? Well, it is beautiful, but it looks like this little kid's, uh, I guess third wheeling it. Yippee, I'm on vacation. My sis brought me along. She's the best. Man, little kid, you are just ruining everything, aren't you? Here we have a picture of a Gyarados. We've got an Arcanine over there. Pretty fancy. But we're going to go and walk back out of this place. And let's go to this building. Sure, let's just go down the line. We'll go one building at a time. There's really no other way to do it. Uh-oh, we got an old guy. That game where the Pokemon fly high through the... Or not high, just fly through the sky is a huge hit. We're positively raking in the cash now. I feel like I'm on cloud nine. That's an esports team. I don't think we can talk to the books. Uh, yeah, I guess books are for chumps. Which is weird because I actually have dreams of being a writer someday, so I shouldn't be saying that. Maybe if we offered Pokemon as prizes to the top scorers, we could make even more money. Huh? What? I wasn't talking to you, kid. You know, we can't actually earn points to buy Pokemon in this game. In other Pokemon games, you can go to game corners, get points, and buy Pokemon, but not so much in this one. So that's it for that building right there. Now, I, I should mention, guys, I mean, you're going to be able to tell this by looking at the time code, but I've got a feeling this is going to be a very long episode. We have a lot to do today. Now, the episodes in this series are pretty long in general, but who knows? I've got a feeling this episode might be well over an hour, but again, you guys know better than I do because I'm just in the middle of a recording. You guys can just look at the time code. You'll know how long it is, but this might be a long one. Hey, you. Mm, mm, no. You know what I heard? Seems there are several floors hidden below the game corner. Okay, well, let's talk to this gamer guy. I played so much at the game corner that my hands are twitching. Games are way too much fun these days. Well, let's talk to Pink Shirt Guy and get out of here. Mmm, nom, mmm. I'll eat all the curry they can carry. So in front of this guy, there's a dish called curry rice. It's very popular in Japan, and I've actually had it myself. It's kind of different from, like, a Thai curry or something like that. It's, kind of, it's almost like a beef stew. So you have the curry, which is beef potatoes and carrots, kind of like a beef stew, but mixed with curry, and then you have rice on the side. It's actually pretty good. It's not spicy. It's more, like, sweet and savory. There's a little spice, but it's not primarily spice or anything like that. All right, let's go to the restaurant, shall we? Oh, Grandma, I'm hungry. I probably should have talked to that guy first. Now let's talk to her. Celadon City takes pride in its effort to keep itself clean and beautiful. The area around the game corner is a different story, though. It gets a bit rough around there, like sandpaper. I don't remember if I talked to this guy last time. Oh, I lost again at the game corner. I guess the people who are so good at the games there must be putting in more effort than I do. So here is the game corner, and that is definitely something we will be exploring today, but we're going to save that for a little bit later. Let's go explore the rest of Celadon City first. Let me check. Do I need to heal up? Uh, the answer is yes. So let's go back to the Pokemon Center, which is right up here, and let's go take a little bit of a nap, take a little bit of a heal time. And you know what? We've had Douglas following behind us for a while, so let's go ahead and have Wanda once again following behind us. How you doing, Wanda? Oh, they got the heart, dude! Wanda's looking your way with upturned eyes. I don't know what that means, but let's go read this sign. That sounds important. Trainer tips. Guard spec protects Pokemon from having their stats lowered if you use one in battle. If you're in the market for items, the Decelon department store is your one-stop shop. I usually don't use those items, so I'm not worried about that. This is my trusted pal, Poliwrath. It evolved from a Poliwhirl when I used a Waterstone on it. This is Poliwrath, my all-time favorite Pokemon. Ribby Ribbit, dude. Love that guy. And here we have Brock for some reason. Hey, I didn't expect to run into you here. <laughs> I just imagine we're like on a treadmill. It's like, why am I running onto you on a treadmill? Gosh dang it, I need to work on my jokes. I'm on my way back from visiting the Celadon City Gym. Keeping in touch with the other gym leaders is part of our duties after all. It sounds like a great duty. The girls at that gym all turned me away for some reason though. Oh, poor Brock. I actually have some Pooter Crunchies. I brought them as a gift to the gym here. You got Pooter Crunchies from Brock. 
Thanks, pal. He just digs them out of his pocket. They're covered in lint. Oh, and you're probably going to want some tea after eating them. Poodle Crunchies can make you thirsty. So here we get a cup of tea. So those guards that have been very thirsty for a long time, we could bring them that tea and it'll do something nice for us, but we're gonna save that for the next episode. For now, we're just gonna move on. I don't have enough left to give to that thirsty guard now. Oh well, I'll share with them, I guess. Anyway, it looks like you've been visiting the gyms in other cities. I wish you the best. Thanks, man. I don't know if his wishes count for much, but let's go read the sign. Celadon Condominiums. Let's go inside. There's quite a lot to do inside here. We can't do a lot of it right now, but we can at least go look at it. This is the manager's office, and inside here... So back in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, this is where you got the tea. You had to talk to this old lady right here. And way back in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, you actually got the drink you needed from... Well, the Celadon department store. At the very top of that, there was a vending machine you would get the drinks from, and you would take that to the guy, to the, uh, to the guard. But now Brock just hands it to you, so you basically can't miss it now. I guess you could. You could walk around the south side of the city and just totally walk past Brock, but you kind of have to go out of your way to actually not get the tea this time. Here we have the Game Freak reception room. Game Freak is the one, or is the company that made this game. I'm having a meeting with an important client. You want to join in? Yeah, I'll just walk into this important business meeting. I'm just some random kid. Must be nice working at a company where you don't have ever have to wear a suit. I mean, I don't have to wear a suit. I'm recording this in my pajamas, dude. I mean, my pajamas are like gym shorts, so I can kind of wear them out as regular clothes as well. Although when I wear them out and it's like zero degrees out and it's snowing and stuff, people look at me funny, but I don't know, man. Shorts are just so comfy and easy to wear. I gotta wear them. So here we have the development office. And this is kind of some breaking the fourth wall type stuff. Welcome, Pokemon Trainer. You probably won't know what I'm talking about, but come back here once you've heard the title. This, let me just tell you guys, is going to be a very, very big deal later on, and it's going to take a lot of time out of our game to complete, but don't worry about that for now. Someone's playing a game instead of working, Well, my job is playing games and working at the same time. If the script better not look at the ending. Uh-oh, we don't want spoilers, dude. I'm a graphic artist. I'm the one who designed you. That's kind of creepy, but yeah, like I said, breaking the fourth wall. It's kind of like the game developers talking to us directly here. I, it's the game code. Messing with it could bug out the game. I wish you could edit it and it just glitches out your game. Now right here, very importantly guys, if you talk to this you can get some fresh water. Now on the wall here we actually have these posters. I don't know if we've already seen these, if I've already pointed them out, but just in case I haven't. On the left side you can see there's the Blastoise, Venusaur, Charizard, and Pikachu. That's actually the cover art for the original Japanese versions of Pokemon Red, Green, Blue, and Yellow. The American versions, or the non-Japanese versions, are a little bit different looking. I'm um, the game director. I'm very happy that you're playing this game. Good luck with filling up your Pokedex. If you collect all of the Pokemon, let me know. I will do that. I wrote the story. Hey, tell me, don't you think Erica is cute? I guess. I like Misty a lot, too. Oh, and Sabrina, I like her, too. Well, I know those first two, but Sabrina? Uh, well, maybe we'll encounter her a bit later. For now, let's go up the stairs a little bit further. We're almost at the top here. Once we get to the top, we can actually go and grab this item, which is three health candies. And I have mentioned this in the past. If we find candies on the ground, or if someone gives them to us, then I will go ahead and use those. And the Pokemon I want to use my three health candies on there, if I can actually find them. Uh, there you are. I have, I have five, but I can only use three. So I'm going to use those three on Wanda, because they kind of need it the most here. Uh, Douglas could probably use it as well, but for now I'm just going to go with Wanda, because Douglas, being a steel type, is generally a bit better on defense. Where Wanda... Not so good on defense. So that's it for now for this building, but in due time, we will be coming back to this building, probably like episode late 20s or something like that, much down the road. All right, so we're done with that building. Let's move over this way, over towards the department store. Sell it on department store. You'll be sure to find whatever you need. Now, this place has a lot of floors. We're going to explore every single bit of it. And it looks like Wanda wants to go shopping. Oh, I tried to talk to them, but they went back inside their balls. Let's talk to them here. Whoa, the fancy clout, dude. Wanda's practicing its miming. Oh, because the glass right there. Handmade Pokemon accessories. Go take a look on the fifth floor of the department store. Gloom, how do you feel about those handmade accessories? Meh. All right, that's not exactly a stellar review, but we'll take it. We can't get to this old guy over here, which I'm actually kind of happy about, so we'll just ignore him. Let's go talk to this kid sitting on a bench as well. My coughing is the best partner ever. It spews out poison gas when it gets angry, but it's usually very sweet, I promise. Don't taste your coughing. How do you know it's sweet? Gas! Um, you're not a ghastly? Anyways, if we go over here, there is another one of these sleeping Pokemon, so we cannot get past that guy. Oh well, and it looks like Freya wants to marvel at the size of this thing. Oh my gosh, Freya, that's kind of spooky looking, dude. 
Now Freya looks shocked at the sheer size of the Pokemon. Yeah, so let's go ahead and back out here. And enough delay, guys. Let's go inside the department store. And inside here, we kind of end up in the ground floor, which doesn't really have anything we can buy. It's not like I need anything here. I just come to meet up with my friends. So they kind of treat it like a mall, I guess, because like, I guess in real life, people hang out at the mall with their friends. I think I've done that like once in my entire life. My friends and I never really hung out at the mall, but I guess our the mall I used to go to did have an arcade, which is pretty cool. But there were better arcades not at the mall, so it's kind of like the downgraded uh, arcade. But it's such a hassle to go all the way to the fifth floor, blah, blah, blah. So if we go to the back here, we can read this sign. Exclusive interview with the Celadon City Gym leader. Good things come to those who nap. Challengers come too. Now, if we go read this, we can see what each of the different floors is going to have. So the first floor, service counter. Second floor, trainer's market. That's where we're going to buy most of our regular items. The third floor is the video game shop. Fourth floor is wise man gifts. Fifth floor, accessory market, and the very top is relaxation space and vending machines. So back in the day, that's where you would get the drink for the guard. But now there's still good stuff up there, so we're still going to go to the roof. But let's start with floor number two here. Iron Tail is a Steel-type move. It'll make short work of Fairy, Rock, and Ice-type Pokemon. Good to know! Try attack is a move that comes with a bonus. It has a chance of inflicting a status condition on the opponent. We kind of already knew that because we have try attack on Douglas. They sell powerful handy TMs here. What a swanky shop! I can't believe this guy just said swanky. But let's go say I'm here to buy. Now this is the regular shop, so here's all the items we have access to with our four badges. Quite a lot, but nothing I really want to buy right now. The more important thing is this guy. So if we go I'm here to buy, we have all of these different TMs to choose from. And some of them are very expensive, especially Hyper Beam, which costs 100,000. Now we could buy Iron Tail. I should mention you could press A to actually see what the move does. So Iron Tail is Steel, but unfortunately Douglas, even though he's a Steel type, cannot learn it. So we're not going to bother with that. U-turn is actually a pretty good bug attack. You can see after they use the attack, you can swap with a different Pokemon. So if you wanted to attack and swap in the same turn, pretty good, but Aya can't learn it, even though they're a bug, Aya cannot learn that one, so that's kind of a bummer. So what I actually want to buy is Hyper Beam. This is a very, very powerful normal type attack, and I'm going to eventually buy all these TMs anyways, because I'm going to get all 60 for completion's sake. I'm also going to go ahead and buy Shadow Ball. This is a ghost type attack, so some good damage, it's also a special attack here. And the rest of these I'm going to wait on. Now, Bulk Up will raise your attack and defense. Try attack, we already know. Waterfall is a pretty good water attack and also has a chance to flinch. Now, Iron Tail there kind of already told us about. <laughs> I can't even look at it because I don't have enough money. And Dragon Tail, the target is knocked away and a different Pokemon is dragged out. So if they have two Pokemon and you hit them with this, it'll bring out the other one. Which is more useful and competitive. Not that useful during just a story playthrough here. But while we're here, I do want to go ahead and sell some stuff. Like I said, eventually I will buy everything that we can possibly buy here, just to have all the TMs in my collection. But for now, we're just going to stick with those two, and we'll sell all these items I've, I've been stockpiling, needing to sell these. So we sold all the nuggets, all of that. Sell these big pearls, those are worth quite a lot. Also going to sell the Stardust down here, the regular pearls, the star piece, even that big mushroom right there. Gonna sell it all, dude. Now, I just spent 130,000, I think, Poké Dollars. And you can see I still have almost 100,000 right here, especially after I sell this star piece, which is worth 6,000. So yeah, we're up to 87,000 here. Now, I could go down and also sell some of these candies. I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to them, but you could sell them for 10 Poké Dollars each. So if you sell a whole stack, it's not that bad. Okay, so for now, I'm done selling. I'm done buying stuff. Let's go up to the next floor and see if there's anything there we want to buy. Now, floor three is the video game floor. Let's talk to these kids, I guess. Sweet! This kid says he'll trade me a Kangaskhan for my Haunter. That is actually a pretty good deal. Come to me, my new Haunter. I absolutely love Haunter. I collect them. Huh? Haunter evolved into a different Pokemon while it was being traded. Yeah, so certain Pokemon will evolve when you trade them. I will eventually be showing all of those, but for now, just know that Haunter is one of them. If you get a Haunter and trade it, then, uh, well, there you go. But unfortunately, we can't get Haunter quite yet. We can also just, like, talk to all these different things. This one just says it's a Nintendo Switch, but this one, it's a Nintendo Switch. Oh, <laughs> let's try talking to the computer. Oh, maybe the TV. There we go. Look, a puzzle game. Seems like the type that would be hard to quit. I don't know if they're trying to allude to it being Tetris, maybe Pokemon Puzzle League Challenge? A sports game, I bet Dad would like that. It's probably uh, Mario Tennis. Let's see what kind of genre we got here. Ooh, it's a role-playing game. There are a lot of people who would argue that Pokemon is not an RPG. I don't understand where that comes from, but to me it's very obviously an RPG. Nothing here. Uh, this one is a fighting game. It looks pretty difficult. Maybe we got some Guilty Gear, some Street Fighter, maybe a little Mortal Kombat. 
I know a lot of you guys don't know this about me, but uh, I am a very, very big fan of fighting games. Actually, when I first started my Psycho channel, my main channel, I used to post Street Fighter 4 match videos back in 2009. So I was very, very into fighting games. I've put thousands of hours into them. But for talking to this guy, we do get helping hand. So for the very rare cases where we have dual battles, I guess that could be handy. Again, I don't really recommend that unless you're playing two-player mode because <laughs> dual battles are very rare without that. Okay, let's go down to this next floor, or I guess up to this next floor. There are Pokemon that evolve when you use an evolution stone on them. Grr! It looks like your Eevee wants to stick with you just the way it is. I was kind of imagining this. Can you imagine the world of Pokemon? Because in the anime, the way that you make a Pokemon evolve with a stone is you just touch it. Like the Pokemon touches the stone and they're going to digivolve. So what if you just had some big jerk that just collects stones and they go around evolving people's Pokemon? That would be... I mean, it's just a prank, bro, but that would be pretty gosh dang mean. So here we do get some different stones. If we use the Fire Stone on an Eevee, we can't use it on our Eevee, but if we get a different Eevee, they'll become the Fire Pokemon Flareon. Thunderstone will give us Jolteon. Waterstone will give us an evolution I don't believe we've seen yet. And in Generation 4, Diamond and Pearl, they introduced Leafeon and Glaceon. So Leaf Stone would give us Leafeon and Ice Stone would give us Glaceon, but those Pokemon are not in this version of the game, so these are good for other things. We could, for example, involve Weeping Bell, we could evolve Gloom, but uh, we can't really do much with these right now. I believe you can use Ice Stone to evolve the Alolan Vulpix. I haven't actually tried that, but I'm pretty sure that's how that works. But I don't need any stones for now. We'll come, we'll come back here if we need them in the future, but for now we're good. We're just going to go walk up to this next floor. Now this is the fun floor. There are so many accessories that you can give your Pokemon to wear, and they're all so cute. I think I'd rather keep some of them for myself. So here we could buy all kinds of different stuff that we can w have our Pokemon wear. Some of them even we can wear, I think. A true gentleman make sure that his Pokemon is all outfitted in the finest fashion. Maybe we can't wear them. I don't know, I'm misremembering things probably. So you can kind of see what we're going to buy on the table in front of us. This one can sell glasses or sunglasses. I'm gonna go ahead and buy, let's do some Dusk sunglasses, why not? Sounds good. Uh, eventually I will buy everything here, but that's gonna be all I buy from that one for now. Maybe like each episode I'll try to have a different costume or something like that. Uh, let's have them go for... Let's do flowers. Uh, let's do an orange flower. 5,000 poke dollars. Why not? Now, the very, very expensive thing is if we go to this side. Now, we could just buy a hat. They are pretty expensive right here. You can see the different hats there. The more expensive thing is the special. The crown is extremely expensive. Eventually, I will buy this, but because it's so expensive, it's going to be quite a while. So don't expect that anytime soon. And this one, we could buy a Diglett cap for 50. It's very cheap, and I love Diglett, so I'm going to go ahead and buy that one. Now, once you've bought everything that you can buy from a section, if you talk to them again, they'll say you've already bought everything so there you go we've already finished that one let's go to our bag let's check out our clothing trunk and let's choose an outfit for freya here we just bought them the diglet cap so there you go we got a diglet on their head uh let's see glasses we got the dusk sunglasses looking awesome let's see let's go down to clothes uh, we didn't get anything for this one i guess that's fine let's go to accessories we got the orange flower so i guess they'll wear that Oh, right, so we have to choose where we want it. So we could put it on their ears, we could put it on their chest, we could put it on their back, which is just kind of awkward looking. Or we could put it on the tail. I like it most on the tail, so there we go. There you go, Freya. <laughs> Freya looks a little bit ridiculous, but hey, I'll take it. And yeah, we definitely cannot put any of those items that we just bought on our trainer. I don't know why I misremembered that, but you definitely can't. So what I want to do is come up here. Eve, 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 Eve. Freya seems to be curious about the vending machines. Wow, maybe they're thirsty. Do you want to buy a drink? So we'll buy some fresh water. Why not? It doesn't cost all that much. So there we go. Gave the fresh bottle of water to Freya. Freya seems happy that it got to drink the fresh water. Hooray! Now we're going to go back to the vending machine and also buy a soda pop. There we go. And let's see. We'll also buy a lemonade. Now I'm not buying these for no reason. I'm buying these for a very good reason, which is if we go and talk to this girl, I'm thirsty. I want something to drink from the vending machine. Give her a drink. Yes! So even though Freya already drank from this fresh water bottle, we're going to go ahead and give that to her. And guys, I'm just letting you know, we are getting a lot of TMs today. This is already our fourth TM for the day. And if we go and give her more stuff, basically we can uh, get two more TMs from her. So you give her one fresh water, one soda pop, and one lemonade. And for all of those, we're going to get TMs. If you give her the same item twice, she'll just refuse it. So don't worry about that. Just give her each thing one time, and each time we'll get a TM. 
So here we go, we also get Protect. So these are all very defensive TMs. Protect is a, well, she kind of said it. You use it and it'll make you immune for one turn. Uh, po, 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 all right. This guy's got the creepy hat. Wanting to hike all the way to the top of even a department store, that's the destiny of a true hiker. My sister's a trainer, believe it or not, but she's so selfish that it drives me nuts. At least she's not a shellfish. Popey. All right, guys, with that, we are done with the Celadon department store. For now, of course, once we need some evolution stones, we'll come back for that. Once we want to get all the rest of those TMs, we'll come back for those. And of course, once we want to buy all those accessories, we'll come back for those as well. But for now, we're done. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here. And since we've explored everything else in Celadon City, I guess it's time for the game corner. Man, the problem is I just can't find the game corner. I guess I'll just go inside this building. We do have... <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Oh, uh, we have the Rocket Game Corner, a playground for grown-ups and kids alike. All right, gambling. Actually, we can't gambling in this game. They took the gambling out of the game. Uh, but there is two doors right here. I'm going to go ahead and go in the right one. They both take you to the same building. I remember back when I was a kid, I would play the slot machines, the gambling part of the game, and I would like hide my screen from my mom because I thought I was doing something bad. So even back then when I was a kid, I still knew that gambling was bad for kids. I guess you could argue it's bad for everyone, but definitely not something kids should be doing. So I felt weird doing it. So I don't really blame them for taking it out of this version of the game. The game in which Pokemon fly in the sky, it's a, it's great, isn't it? If we could fly in real life, that would be much cooler than the game, though. Hmm, I wonder if we'll ever get to fly in real life. Oh, well. Let's go talk to the uh, arcade machines here. We actually can't play any games here, which is kind of a bummer. But we'll go talk to everyone anyways. Also, there are some hidden items in here. I think there's one back here I forgot to grab. Watch that waggy tail. There it is. We get a pineapple berry. Hooray. Freya's also going crazy right here. I think it's on the other side of this table. There we go. We also get a nana berry. I guess people are just like grabbing berries and dropping them all over the floor. Come on, guys. The least you could do is clean up after yourself so you can't litter around the game corner. My sweet star, you. It likes to watch people playing games. How? How does it see? Uh... That's creepy. I sometimes see suspicious looking people in this game corner. Oh man, that's just your reflection. I wonder what they're up to. Probably just uh, playing some arcade games. There, come on. Almost got it. Ah, so close. Come on, Jesse. Why don't we head to the hideout now? Oh, come on. We're already handed over. Oh, we've already handed over the Cubone to another Team Rocket member. What's the harm in taking a little break? How are we supposed to open the hidden entrance to the hideout anyway? We just need to check the poster with the vehicle on it, remember? It's a poster with a vehicle that's the best way to represent us. Hmm. What could possibly be such a big loser as you guys? Yeah, I don't know what vehicle could represent these guys. I'm trying to think about it. Maybe like an electric scooter with like one of the wheels broken and the motor's kind of not working so well either, so it breaks down constantly. I, I don't know. I, I can't think of what would represent these guys. Vehicles are usually pretty cool, and these guys are the opposite of that. Although I would love to join Team Rocket, that would be great. But here we get a health candy. I'll probably go ahead and give that to Wanda once again. I'll just walk around and see if there's any more items. Oh, there's a fighting game there with probably Pikachu Libre. There we go, we get a Raspberry. Hey buddy, we've run out of game coins. Also, please don't touch the walls in the game corner without permission. Um, like this? Man, this, this place is pretty run down. The posters are getting torn off. It's awful. I'm just double checking to make sure I didn't miss any of the uh, any of the items like that. <laughs> There's one right here. We get another Nana Berry. Okay. Well, I think I got all of them. So let's go and talk to this guy. I wonder where Team Rocket could be. Well, let's talk to him. I'm guarding this poster. Go away, or else, or else what? Well, let's, we'll go beat him up here. Team Rocket Grunt, one Pokemon. Let's see what it is. I love seeing Freya like that with the flower tail. So this guy's going to have a Raticate. I'm going to go ahead and send out Douglas here. Raticate is a normal type Pokemon. Normal, not very good against Steel type. Uh, let's see. I could probably get away with just going for Slash. You know what? Let's try one Slash. And if it doesn't do half, we'll go for Dig instead. No, that did half. Okay. So he does go for Crunch. Not going to do that much. 20 damage is a decent chunk, but we're fine for now. So we'll go for another Slash. And there we go. And I do got to give you guys a heads up. Expect to see lots of Douglas and Wanda today because they're very good for this area. Blast! Hmm? At this rate, the location of the Team Rocket hideout is going to be discovered. I better tell the boss. Hmm, where could it possibly be? What kind of vehicle would represent Team Rocket? Oh, well, let's touch the wall because that guy said we shouldn't touch the wall and I'm a rebel. Hey, a switch behind the poster. Let's push it. There we go. Oh, jeez. Uh, it wasn't me. It was Wanda. They did it. No, we, let's just go down the stairs here. So this is the Team Rocket hideout, guys. Enough joking around. Team Rocket's hideout is here. Let's go and try to stop these buttheads, or maybe try to join Team Rocket. That'd be cool. So our first battle is right here. Who are you? How did you get here? 
I don't know. Why would they hide it so obviously? I mean, they gotta have some kind of rule about not talking about the poster. I mean, you got game design, you gotta lead the player to where they need to be, but they're pretty blatant about telling you exactly where you need to be. Who knows? Maybe the whole uh, theory about this being like a Truman Show type thing where this is all just a big put on and they're kind of guiding us along this journey, but they're all kind of in on it and we're just here for the show. I don't know, man. We're gonna go ahead and defeat coughing. <laughs> is Truman Show... Are you guys too young to know what Truman Show is? Well, it's a good movie if you haven't seen it. Anyways, we defeated coughing. There's two more Pokemon here. The next one's a Rattata, so we're gonna go send out uh, Douglas here. They dealt with Raticate. I'm sure they could deal with Rattata. Alright, level 29 on this guy. We've got some Slash action. A two-shot a Raticate. It looks like it'll one-shot right here. We did get a critical, so that might have been why. But let's see. Let's go ahead and check out his last Pokemon. I believe it's another Rattata here. Slash him, and down he goes. That time was not a critical. We still got him, though. Ow! We got beat bad. Blast it! You're dissing Team Rocket, aren't you? Uh, of course. No, no, I'm not dissing them. I want to join. I would love to join Team Rocket. Well, here we have three Mighty Candies. So let's go ahead and use that one health candy we got on Wanda. And the Mighty Candies are going to raise our attack stats. So I'll probably split those between Douglas and Aya. So let's go to the candy jar. Let's go find just one health candy. Because the other two health candies that I have, I got from other means. So I, I'm sticking to my rule. I can only use items or only use candies that I have been given or I found on the field. So we just found three of these. So let's go ahead and give... Let's do two on Aya and one on Douglas. There we go. And there we go. So Douglas is like one attack higher than Aya, but that's okay. Let's go down here and we'll see that we're blocked off. So we actually cannot go that way. Let's make sure we don't miss any items. Looks like we're good here. And let's go back around. Now down here is something very special. You would think it's just another trainer, but not quite. Let's talk to him here. Shh, I'm a beautiful spy on an undercover mission. What's a child like you doing here? Uh, I'm here to... Oh, I was going to say I'm here to join Team Rocket. Let's say I'm just here for fun. That's it. Hee <laughs> hee, you're an interesting child, that's for sure. Let me give you a present so you remember our little encounter here. And here we get the Team Rocket set. Well, we can't actually join Team Rocket, but hey, it's uh, the next best thing, right? So let's go ahead and go to our bag and let's equip it. I'm going to choose an outfit for Psycho here. Now, Freya can also wear the Team Rocket stuff, but we kind of just got them a new outfit. So I think what we'll do is we'll have... Freya, maybe we'll put the, the coat on them and leave everything else the same. I actually kind of like the Team Rocket set, except for the uh, except for the actual shirt. I think the hat's really cool. It's got that orange. I think that the shoes are awesome. White and orange is kind of cool. And the Team Rocket bag, probably my favorite bag in the game. So aside from the shirt, I really like this set. Let's go over to Freya. Let's go to clothes. And we'll do the Team Rocket tee for them. So Freya looking a little ridiculous. But hey, Team Rocket always looks ridiculous. So they kind of fit in here. Let's go talk to this guy now. You snuck into Team Rocket's operation. What nerve! Well, once again, Team Rocket Grunt with one Pokemon. This guy has a Golbat, so I've got Wanda up front. We could go for a Psychic Attack because they're Poison, or we could go for Thunderbolt because they're flying. I don't know which would be better because I'm too lazy to do the math, but we're just going to go for Thunderbolt for now because it does have the chance to paralyze. But I guess Psybeam also has the chance to confuse. I don't know, man. There you go. It does not quite kill him, but we do get that Paralyze I was looking for. They do get through with Bite, but keep in mind, while Bite is a Dark-type attack, which would be super effective on uh, my Psychic typing, it's not very effective on my Fairy typing, so it balances out and it makes it neutral against me. So we got that guy. Boom! You're not going to get away with this, brat. Just watch me, dude. I'm going to steal all the Bratwurst. We're going to go down here and grab this item. Five Ultra Balls. So most of this stuff here is actually optional. It's just items and, well, some trainer battles, stuff like that. But if you actually just want to continue, it's time to go down the stairs. You probably could have just done this right from the start, but you guys know me. I like to do everything. So there we go. Let's go fight this kid or this guy. I heard that you can see Ghost with the Silph Scope. Ah. Team Rocket Grunt with one Pokemon, and it's going to be a Hypno. Now, I actually forgot to teach the TMs I bought Oh my gosh, I need to go do that. I bought Shadow Ball and Hyper Beam. I was going to teach that to Wanda. Completely forgot. Thankfully, Wanda is not up front, but Shadow Ball would have been very good. It would have been very good against this, but Leech Life is fine as well. Uh, that's why I have I up front. Actually, this would have been better because Shadow Ball is good against Psychic, but, well, Hypno is just pretty tough. So we'll just do Leech Life here. And down they go. Hip? No. Dead? Yes! I surrender! Well, now that I remembered that I forgot, which is a weird thing to say, I, I remembered that I forgot to teach the TMs. So we could teach Light Scream, we could teach Reflect, pretty much everyone can learn Protect, and Helping Hand a couple can learn as well, but what I actually wanted to teach was Shadow Ball for Wanda. That'll give them a ghost attack so they could do stuff against, uh, 
psychic types, I guess, if we ever have a psychic versus psychic. We'll get that in place of double slap. One thing to keep in mind, guys, you cannot use ghost type attacks on normal type Pokemon. Normal type is immune to ghost, and ghost is immune to normal type, so just keep that in mind. We're gonna go teach Hyper Beam to Wanda as well, and we'll teach that in place of Encore. I really don't see me ever using Encore, so we'll just go get rid of it. There we go. Now, we could teach Hyper Beam to Aya or Douglas as well, but they're more uh, physical attackers, and Hyper Beam is a special... Gosh dang it, I gotta stop burping. But yeah, um, Hyper Beam is a special attack, so Aya and Doug Trio or Douglas will not be very good with it. So we're gonna back out, and let's just go move on with our lives. The Team Rocket Hideout has four underground floors. Think you can reach the boss? I'll do my best, but we've got these spinners right here. Thankfully, they don't move you as slowly as they did in the original Pokemon games, but they still are a little bit slow. So we step on these platforms, it'll start spinning us, and we cannot control ourselves until we hit one of these yellow pads. The entire time it moves us automatically. Now, throughout this section, there will be some items. I believe there's even one hidden item, so we'll have to watch out for that. Just gotta keep an eye on Freya's tail there. Let's go back around, though. And let's go down this way. Do I want to step on that one? Not quite yet. Let's grab this item first. We get an Awakening. So if we fall asleep, we could use that crud. We've already defeated Hypno. He could have put us to sleep, but he didn't get a chance, dude. I just leeched his life. Now, here we get another TM. I was telling you guys we're getting a lot of TMs today. I was not kidding. I could have got even more if I just bought more at the uh, at the shop. But, yeah, well, we're fine for now. Let's go on that one. Let's go to... Let's go to this one here. There we go. I think there's a hidden item. Oh, never mind. Let's go on this one, then. We'll go over to the left. That'll take us down here. And now let's go over to... Well, let's go on this one. Because that'll spit us all the way over here. I think this is where the hidden item is that I was thinking of. I believe there's one like right up top there. But we have to go around for that first. So we'll go down like that. Let's go grab this item. We've got ourselves a PP up. Which I should probably use. But I'll save that for a little bit later. There it is. We get that X accuracy. So we got that crud. And now what I want to do is kind of get back on track here. We can only go one way on these arrows. Once we step on them, it goes automatically. So we have to step on the correct ones every time. Let's go back down. Go down here. Uh, let's do the top one here. And then we'll do this one, and that should be good. So we can walk down around. I don't think it actually matters. Oh, it does. So we want to hit the top one right there. There we go. Okay, so we actually made it to the end now. The thing is, there's actually nothing that important over here. Over here, we do have this elevator, but if we walk up to it, Get this little exclamation mark. It doesn't appear to work without a key. So, just keep this in mind, guys. Once we get a key, I will edit back to this spot so we don't have to watch me go through those spinners again. But for now, we can actually go up here. So let's go fight some nerds up here or something. Hmm. Well, I don't think I want to have Wanda up front, which is good because we've got Douglas up front. So let's go talk to... Uh, let's go fight this guy first. Why not? doesn't really matter, but here we go. What did you hope to achieve by coming here? I wanted to join Team Rocket. Gosh dang. Team Rocket grunt one Pokemon. It's going to be a Voltorb. So this is why I wanted Douglas up front. I was saying before, it doesn't matter which one we fight first. Kind of a lie, because for this guy, I want Douglas up front. But for the next one, I think I'm going to want Wanda up front. So yeah, I wanted to do this one first, because Douglas is already up front. So we'll go for Dig. And we could have used Aya as well, because Aya does have Dig, but... I don't know, I kind of like to use Douglas against electric types because, well, Aya does have Dig, they're not actually ground types, so they can still get hit by electric attacks. Now, the electric attacks are not very good against them, but, I mean, it's more than nothing, which against Douglas, electric attacks do nothing. Okay, I'll talk. If you want to find the boss, take the elevator. That's easier said than done, because we have to actually get the key for that. Here we get a Hyper Potion, that'll heal all kinds of HP. But for here, let's go ahead and swap. Uh, let's put Wanda up front, like I was saying. And let's go get to battle number two for this floor. Intruder alert. <laughs> Sounds like a robot, dude. Well, this one's gonna have actually two Pokemon this time, not just one. Let's see it. There you go, two Pokemon right there. Team Rocket Grunt. And the first one's going to be Ekans. Now, Douglas is pretty good against Ekans as well, but I'm pretty sure Wanda can one-shot them. And Douglas, because they have that boosted experience from the trade, they are going to get overleveled quite a lot. So, Douglas, I want to use them when they're useful, but if someone else can carry the slack, I want them to do it. Now, this next Pokemon is going to be another poison type, but the thing is, it's going to be an Arbok, the evolved form of Ekans, and Wanda is not strong enough to one-shot that guy, 
So if I go and uh, try to fight it, it's just going to use a poison attack on me. It'll be super effective and I'm going to die. So let's go use Doug Trio. Dig. And we got Arbok with one shot. So Douglas, very, very good against poison types. I mean, they're completely immune to poison damage. That's the crazy thing about Douglas. Steel type, so they're immune to poison, but also ground type, so they're immune to electric. They're immune to two different types. I can't do it. You're looking for a Cubone? Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. That's okay, we'll just go grab this item here, which is five Great Balls. Let me just take one more double check to make sure I didn't miss any hidden items, but I'm pretty sure we're done with this floor. I know there's something hidden here. There we go, okay, Freya, Freya, just be very careful with your wags. I'm just gonna start mashing A. There it is, okay, we get the full heal. I knew there was something here. All right, now we're done with this floor. So what I want to do is go back up, or down? Yeah, we're going down. And now I'm gonna go back through these spinnies. Now, you could wait to come here later, but I just like to do it now, because that's just how I roll. And now let's go down to the next floor. So they said this place has uh, four floors. I think we're on floor number three right now. Look who finally showed up, huh? We got word from upstairs that you were coming. Uh, I guess there are kind of some telephones on the walls in this place. So I, I guess they don't have cell phones. They're just talking to each other with phones from the walls. It's kind of outdated, man. But I guess Team Rocket themselves are kind of outdated. We've got one Pokemon here. It is Golbat. Now, we've seen Wanda can deal with Golbat. The question is, will they use a poison attack this time? If they do, we're probably dead. But I don't even think this Golbat has a poison attack. If they do, for some reason, they like to use uh, Bite quite often. Oh, we got the Paralyze, just like the last Golbat. And it's stuck. So even if he did have a poison attack, we don't got to worry about that crud. We just got him. So there you go, Thunderbolt. And down goes Golbat. What? I lost? No! Go wherever you want then, but the elevator won't budge without a lift key. Well, we'll just have to get a lift key then. We're also gonna have to get TM20, Dark Pulse, because we did not have enough TMs today. There's also a hidden item right here. We get a guard spec. Pretty fancy. Well, let's go back over this way and continue on. Pretty much you gotta fight that trainer for the TM, but not really much else from them. Over here we do have a revive. Which, honestly, Wanda sometimes does get defeated, so having that revive is pretty handy. And now we've got more of these spinners. And throughout the section, we will have at least one hidden item as well. So we'll have to keep our eyes peeled for that. Just watch Freya's tail as usual. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves an X-Speed. There we go. Actually, do we have any hidden items here? I'm starting to second-guess myself. Maybe there is nothing hidden. But that's okay. Let's just move on. And we do need to get that item on the right. But it's not going to be easy. Let's just go down. Let's go around, and we have to beat up this guy first. Stop meddling in Team Rocket's affairs, or else! Everyone says, or else, but they never tell me, or else what. Now, this guy's got two Pokemon. The first one is going to be a Rattata, which is why I've got Douglas up front right here. We've already seen them deal with these guys. Let's just do it again. Slash, dead! Now he's got Voltorb, we go for a dig. Dead! Oof, taken down. Looking for a Cubone, eh? I just saw one of our grunts come by with one. Um, it's gotta be around here somewhere. All right, man. Well, I want to go back up here and grab this item, which is going to be a rare candy. Fantastic item. I should probably go and use that on Wanda. But you can see Wanda's just about to level up. So once they level up, then I'll use the rare candy on them. Now I just have to go through this entire section again. Whoa! Well, that was easy. Let's go down these stairs. Hmm. This ball and that ball seem too obvious. Well, let's just go for them anyways. Here we get a PP up. That is a fantastic item, which I now have like two or three of but not gonna use them quite yet. Hyper Potion, a very good healing item right there as well. There we go. Let's go up to the north here. I mean, I don't actually know if this is north. Let's just go upwards. Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 what's that? You say the elevator doesn't work? Course not. I've been keeping the lift key safe this whole time. Um, okay, why are we fighting? I was nice to you. Why are you just trying to beat me up suddenly? I'm gonna beat you up, dude. Alrighty, it looks like this guy has a Grimer, and for some reason I have Aya up front, which should be fine. We're just gonna go for Dig right here. All of my other attacks, probably not gonna do Crud, but this one should be fine at least. He does go for Minimize. That will make him a little bit harder to hit, so there's a decent chance we miss right now. Let's just cross our fingers and hope that does not happen. And it does happen. And now he's going for more Minimize. Ah, crud. Come on. Oh, I missed again. And now he goes for Disable. So that is going to really, really stink. Because now I cannot use Dig. So we're going to swap. Let's go. Let's do Wanda. Because Doug Trio is going to have to Dig as well. But Wanda can just do some Psy Beam. Now, of course, as soon as I bring in Wanda, they go for the Sludge. Thankfully, it's not going to do that much damage. But we do get hit by Poison. That kind of sucks. Let's go for the Psybeam, hopefully not miss, even though they've used all of those evasions, or all those minimizes. Come on, give me some good luck, let's get this guy! 
I missed. Now he goes for Sludge again. Come on. There we go. We actually hit him. Can we one-shot him? The answer is yes. The, the other question is, will we die to poison? I don't think we take poison damage after we beat the battle, though. Oh my gosh, we're so close to leveling up on Wanda. God, now how am I supposed to keep you from taking the lift key? Guess I'll have to use my own kind of struggle. I like how we capitalized struggle like he was using the, the attack struggle. If you run out of PP on all of your moves, it will use a, an, an attack called struggle. I hope my bosses don't hear about this. And he threw the lift key on top of the rail right there. That is unfortunate. How could we possibly get that? Pokemon doesn't have a jump button. Ha! Ha! Phew! Without that key, there's no way you'll make it to the boss. If you think you can get it back from up there, then I'd sure like to see you try. <laughs> well, one thing we can do is if we walk right up to this little vent here, if there were a step stool or something, maybe it would be possible to reach the top from here. Hmm, what could we use as a step stool? There's all kinds of stuff around here. Well, let's uh, look around. Let's talk to this fire extinguisher. It's a solid box holding a fire extinguisher, but it's too heavy to move. Well, crud. Mr. Mime's pretty strong. Maybe they could just make us an invisible box. There's an intercom with a video screen. Better not touch it if we don't know who might answer on the other end. Okay, there's an intercom. I, I already read that. Trash can? Inside this, there's nothing inside. We could totally step on the trash can. We can't step on the cardboard box. There's something written on the papers. Team Rocket's greatest ever secret plan. Oh, man. Well, what we actually have to do is talk to the chair. This chair could probably be used as a step. So we talk to the chair, which is one of my favorite pastimes, and now we can go up top. Up you go. Well, maybe we can't go up top, but Freya certainly can, because they're tiny. So we'll just knock open that vent right there. Gotta be careful, man. Office chairs are swivelly. It might throw you off, man. Now's the time for your partner to shine. Get the key that the Team Rocket grunt through. So now we actually get to play as Freya. So we're walking around as Freya right now. I want to walk over to the side, because we can kind of peep on the... Uh, Team Rocket executives down here. Where did that Cubone come from, boss? Meh! Well, there's Cubone. That's what we're here for, to save Cubone. I mean, no, we're here to join Team Rocket. Two of my underlings decided to bring it here without my permission. The skull on its head is very beautiful. We should be able to sell it for a good price once it becomes a Marowak. Hmm? It looks like they're talking about something complicated. Well, that's all we could do for there. So let's walk over to the left instead. And let's pop open this vent right here. Hit it with a double edge, dude! I don't know how much recoil damage we'll take for that, but that's okay. Let's just walk along all the way over this way. And let's see if we can make it across this thin pipe. There you go, Freya. Good job, dude. I love their little diglet cap. They're so happy. So that's basically all we can do. So let's go and grab the lift key. All right. So these butt heads down here are just chilling. Did you hear something just now? I did. There was definitely a noise. Could it be an intruder? V. Grr. Never mind, it must have been Meow's hungry tummy. Don't get me all worried over nothing. They need to go to that restaurant to get some curry rice. Well, we could go talk to him one more time. The boss's Persian... Ugh, the boss's Persian is so elegant. And that fake-out move it uses, it always makes an opponent flinch in battle. It's strong and cool. Oh, they're giving me all the boss's tips here. Well, let's go walk back and let's go reunite with Psycho. I mean, reunite with me. There we go, Freya came back to you. You got the lift key. So now that we have the lift key, I will meet you guys all the way back over at that elevator like I said I would. Alrighty, we're back at the lift. Now that we have the lift key, we can go right inside. There's two floors we can go to. The first one is basement first floor here. I guess we'll go inside that one. There is one trainer we can fight, but really not much else we could do here for now. Hey buddy, you wanna go? Are you a lost little child? I'm not lost. I can't think of any jokes for that. I'm sorry, guys. We've got two Pokemon here. The first one is going to be a Zubat. Now, I don't exactly have a good Pokemon out to fight a Zubat. For some reason, I'm leading with Aya once again. I probably should have Wanda up front, but that's okay. I just felt like sparkling on the way in here. Eh, whatever. I'll go for Leech Life. We'll see how it does. Probably not going to do very much at all, but hey. Uh, crud. <laughs> Ah, jeez, we're getting hit by Toxic. You know what? It's been a while since Freya actually got to battle. They have not got to battle with their Diglett cap quite yet, so let's go send them out here. There you go, Freya. Let's go wreck this nerd. He poisoned my Aya. He goes for Haze. That's fine. I'm gonna go for Buzzy Buzz. Yeah. You know, it's kind of funny because they always go for the alliteration where they have the two words, Buzzy Buzz, Sizzly Slide, Bouncy Bubble, and they always have them both start with the same letter. The thing is, you got 
you got Buzzly Buzz, or Buzzy Buzz, you got Bouncy Bubble, and from the other Marvelous Trainer guy, we could have got, uh, what was it called? Batty Bad. So there's all kinds that just start with B. Yeah, all right, this guy's sending out a Ghastly. I'm gonna go ahead and give Wanda some time to shine here. Oh, they just leveled up. I forgot to give them that rare candy. So we'll do that after this battle here. Let's go hit him with that side beam though. And down he goes. Why? And for defeating that guy, that will open up the elevator there, or the door. So now if we wanted to go back outside, we wanted to go to the Pokemon Center, it'd be a pretty clean run to go do that. And you know what? I'll, whatever, I'll go do it real quick. Ta-da! We're all healed up and now we are back here. Let's go back inside the elevator. And this time let's go to basement floor four. B B4F, basement floor, basement four floor. Yeah, that's where we're going, dude. So now that we're inside here, we can go around, we can grab some items. That's all great and everything. But the thing is, we're gonna have to deal with some buttheads, dude. But here we have an elixir. What is that on top of this? It kind of looks like a microwave, but not really. It's like a futuristic, but not futuristic microwave. Let's go over here though. Let's go talk to these buttheads. Uh oh, the triple exclamation mark. You, you're that twerp from Mount Moon. Just how long are you gonna follow us around? I know I'm beautiful, but what do you want? Uh. The whole time I've been here, guys, to join Team Rocket, hello! What, really? You certainly do show potential, though you're not nearly as beautiful as me. Wait a minute, you're trying to trick me! It doesn't matter, there's no way we're letting you through to see the boss. It's payback time for those fossils from Mount Moon, you brat! Well, guys, I guess our dream of joining Team Rocket is never going to happen. Oh well, we'll have to give up on that dream. And you know what? If you can't join them, beat them, right? Or how, however that phrase goes. Here we've got Weezing and Arbok. So this is one of those rare double battles here. So we'll send out Aya and Dugtrio, our two Pokemon that have ground type attacks. Now, I thought about using Wanda for this battle, but the thing is, I cannot one-shot either of these Pokemon. And uh, basically, Arbok is going to use Poison Jab, and he would one-shot Wanda every single time. So basically, it's just not going to happen. So I'm going to use these guys instead. We'll have them go to use Dig. Uh, thankfully, we dodged whatever the crud that was go for some sludge so that's gonna hurt Aya pretty bad there but that probably would have one shot Wanda so we'll see how we do with our dig here don't mind me just waiting around come on game <laughs> there you go game wow that was weird that's kind of like an awkward pause but we get the critical hit so down goes Arbok in one shot very nice I know I said before we couldn't one shot them but what I meant was we couldn't one shot them with Wanda now, Douglas could one-shot them, but because they take two turns to do it, it's not going to happen before they die, basically. Now, unfortunately, Weezing, very tanky, and it looks like we did not uh, even get them halfway right there. But with both of us using Dig on him, it should be fine. The only thing I'm worried about is if he actually hits Aya before they go down, they still might kill him. And yeah, that might actually kill Aya. No, we survive with 4 HP. There we go, dude. So down goes Aya. I'm pretty sure Douglas is going to come back and destroy this guy. Oh my gosh, just got to sit through the awkward pause as we zoom in on everyone's face. And there we go. Down goes Weezing. And down goes these buttheads. Although Aya took a lot of damage along the way. I forgot to use the gosh dang rare candy again. Why is my short term memory so bad? But I was so confident this time. I would say my memory is like a goldfish, but that would be an insult to goldfish, dude. Hmm, how infuriating. Don't let it go to your head just because your Pokemon were a teeny tiny bit stronger. Exactly. And even if you did defeat us in battle, we're still bigger and stronger than you. We'll just use brute force to... <laughs> Freya steps in. V! Eek! <laughs> what? I guess Freya is pretty intimidating with her little flower and everything. Let's see what Freya has to say about that. Oh my gosh, Freya, you do not look happy about that one. All right, so let's back out. I definitely need to heal up Aya here, and I want to use that rare candy before I forget again. There you go, Wanda. Get up to level 33 there. Well, let's go confront the big bads themselves. Mr. Blue Hair over here. Just one look at this Sylph scope, and it's plain to see. Sylph Co. definitely has the technology and skill Team Rocket will need to make our wishes come true. Hmm. A machine that lets you see what otherwise cannot be seen. It's nothing but a useless toy. Still, yes, this could do. Carry on, Archer, with their plans to take over Silco for Team Rocket. Yes, sir! What is a child doing here? You listened in on our conversation without saying a word? I'm the silent protagonist, I, I can't say a word? I don't much care for that. I am Archer, an admin of Team Rocket, and I do not get easy on even a... Plah! And I do not go easy, even on children. 
Well, apparently your lines of dialogue are not easy to read either. Well, we've got Archer right here, and this guy is going to have two Pokemon. Team Rocket Admin Archer. This first one's going to be a Weezing, which we just defeated. We already know we can deal with Weezing. So we've got Douglas up front. I'm pretty sure we can deal with this no problem. Now, this one is level 33. We are also level 33. we got eight PP left on Dig. No problem. Let's go down here. Now, he just tried to go for Flamethrower. That would have been very painful if that hit. But thankfully, we dodge it. Oh, or maybe not. Okay, well, this puts a little bit of a juicy pickle in my plan. That's going to hurt quite a lot. But thankfully, we crud everywhere. We got ourselves burned. Well, this is bad. You know what, dude? <laughs> Time to bring out the big guns as usual. Come on, Freya. Come save the day. Douglas, one weakness is... Well, I don't think he's got just one weakness. But one of his weaknesses is fire. And apparently this guy has Flamethrower, so come on, Freya. This guy will use Flamethrower on you as well, but I think you could take that crud, right? Oh, that doesn't do anything to you, Freya. So let's go and do some Bouncy Bubble. That'll heal us up and uh, hopefully defeat this Weezing as well. Got him! Dude, Freya, just too powerful, and they're very fashionable to boot. Well, Douglas did get to level 34. Thankfully, they survived that battle. I have 33 as well. And oh, there we go! Aya wants to learn Spore, one of the most powerful moves in all of Pokemon, and I believe that uh, Parasect here is the only Pokemon in all of this game that can learn Spore. Now Spore, it's just like a sleep powder, but with 100% accuracy, it is ridiculous. So we're going to go back and we're going to get that in place of Poison Powder. There we go. So anytime we want to put them to sleep, just drop it on them, dude. As long as they're not like a grass type, which we can't use it on pretty much good to go. So out comes Golbat. We're going to go over to Wanda, do some Thunderbolt. We already know they can deal with Golbat, no problem. Is this guy going to secretly have Flamethrower as well? Well, I guess Flamethrower would not do that much to Wanda, so we're fine. And we're definitely going to two-shot this guy. He will go for Crunch. That's a pretty strong attack, but we're fine, dude. Don't even worry about it, man. Let's go for that second Thunderbolt. And down goes Golbat. Down goes Team Rocket Admin Archer. Yeah, what a blunder. This guy's just like a tech reviewer. He loves reviewing blenders, guys. What a blender. Forgive me, Giovanni, for me to be defeated by a simple child. I am not simple. I'm complicated. I have all kinds of feelings. Well, let's go heal up our team after that crud. Holy crud. Look at that. We're burned. Do I have a burn heal? I've got one burn heal. I could also just use some pooter crunches to heal up, but oh well. Should probably heal my HP as well. You know what? I'm just going to use one of these hyper potions. They do heal, heal 120 which is kind of overkill, but whatever. What's up, Giovanni? You gonna give me back my Cubone, buddy? Let's find out. So, you defeated Archer. I must say, I am impressed you got there. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. And I am the leader of this enterprise, Giovanni! It's Gi Giovanni. Oh no, Cubone. What? You want me to release the Cubone? Mimi! You came barging into our hideout just for that? What an amusing child. But for your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. <laughs> okay, buddy. Well, this guy is going to be a little bit tougher than Archer. Well, I don't even know if that's fair to say, but this guy, Team Rocket Boss Giovanni, two Pokemon, starting off with a Persian. Persian is a normal type Pokemon and a pretty gosh dang good physical attacker. So I got Douglas healed up. He's back up front. Hopefully this guy does not have a secret flamethrower because, well, I would very much like him to just use normal type attacks. Okay. He'll use fake out. We flinch. That's okay. Just one turn. Let's try that again. So now he'll use slash, which honestly does a pretty decent chunk considering we're steel type. Then we'll do slash, do a little chunk right there. And we're basically going to have a slash off here. There we go, he hits me with the Slash. Now Slash has a good chance to crit. We just have to hope that we are the one who gets the crit and not them. Come on, hit him with the Slash. Do not crit me right now. Okay, we're down to 15 HP. We need a crit right now. Yeah, dude, we got the critical hit when it mattered. Down goes Persian. Good job, Douglas. I probably could have beat him easier with Dig. I just thought it'd be funny to go for a Slash battle. Okay, so now we have Rhyhorn. The thing about Rhyhorn is they're so easy to deal with with Aya. So before I was kind of saying, I don't know if Giovanni's actually tougher than Archer. And this is why, because we're so good against Rhyhorn. I mean, especially now, because after the last episode, we got Mega Drain for Aya. So that's going to do all kinds of damage. There's no way he's surviving, even at level 35. Down goes Rhyhorn super, super easily there. What? This can't be! So I too am defeated by a child. Do as you wish with that Cubone. Meh! And take this as my apology for mocking you as a child. 
Giovanni handed you this silph scope. So we heard someone before say you could see ghosts with that crud. I can see you raise Pokemon with the utmost care, but you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I don't know what happened to his voice there, but I hope we will meet a battle gear. Me too, dude. I hope we'll meet a battle gear too. Meh, meh. Okay, well, away goes Cubone. Cubone headed back to Lavender Town. Maybe with the Silph Scope, you'll be able to find out the identity of that ghost. Who's talking to me? Who said that? Stop touching me, Wanda. Well, let's talk to Archer one more time. Cubone seems to have gone home on its own. Why don't you get out of here too and try to figure out how to use that Silph Scope or something. All right, let's get out of this place, guys. Wait, 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 wait. There's a hidden item back here. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a Max Revive. Sadly, we can't sit in this fancy chair, but it sure looks comfortable. All right, let's go ahead and get out of this game corner. I walked all the way back out, went up the elevator and everything. Huh? What is this? Hey, buddy. Oh, you're curious, aren't you? You're curious about me and this machine. Well, not really curious about you. Just, just the machine. Just the machine. Do you know, want to know the details? Um, no. Actually, I changed my mind. You know what? Let's go ahead and say yes. Okay, if you insist, this machine is a great vehicle that allows you to fly in the sky. Sir, I'm gonna need you to get that megaphone out of my gosh dang face, you crud! It's a marvelous invention, if I do say so myself. It's not an exaggeration to say that this is a secret technique! Even though I worked really hard on this, nobody wants to try it. You seem to be a courageous young boy. I'll tell you how to ride this machine, the secret technique Sky Dash. Uh oh. Oh, that Eevee wants to fly my invention instead of you. Great! It matches my inspiration perfectly. Alright, let's get right into it. Do this and that, hold this handle, and pull. Then that will be like that, and with these balloons, you're in the air. Oh, you got this, crud Freya. Freya learned the secret technique, Sky Dash. Heck yeah, dude! Use the secret technique Sky Dash and you can fly to a town you've been to. Secret, uh, select play with Freya in the main menu, then select secret techniques. There you go. You can have this machine, so be sure to enjoy many trips through the sky. It's just some helium balloon stuck to a bicycle seat, dude. This cannot pass regulations. This cannot be safe, dude. If I die, it's your fault. So I actually do want to go back to Lavender Town. I know this episode is long as crud, guys, but like I said, we got a lot of crud to do today. Well, let's go talk to Freya. Vigorously embraced you. Holy crud, Freya. A little bit clingy there, buddy. But you're super cute, so it's okay. Let's go to Secret Techniques. Let's go to Sky Dash. And now we could choose a town to go to. Of course, I want to go back to Lavender Town. So here we go. We'll just choose that. And away we go. Whoa, look at this, dude. And here we are back in Lavender Town. So now that we have the Silph Scope, let's walk over this way. Uh, suddenly, Butthead. So that's Cubone's mom. That's right! Team Rocket keeps on going after Marowak so it can sell those skulls they wear for profit. I think Cubone is still looking for its mother, even though she's gone. I just can't forgive that Team Rocket. Me neither! I saw Cubone heading into the tower a little while ago, too. I'll go look for it, and I'll keep an eye out for that Mr. Fuji, too. The one who's been missing? Thank you, and be careful! Well, what's up, Yarg? You gonna join me? We're gonna tag team this crud? I really don't like ghosts, but I've got to do this. Hey, Yarg. How you doing, buddy? Ah, Psycho, nice timing. You caught most of that, right? What do you say? You want to come with me? Of course not. I would never come with you, Yarg. No, he's going to wait there. We can't go in without him, so let's go talk to him and let's go say yes. Th thanks, pal. It'll be a big relief to have you. I'll just let you lead the way, okay? Wow, so brave and courageous of you, Yarg. He's going to let me go in first to face all the spooks. Well, we've already been in here with the spooks before. I think we can handle it, so let's just go right up the tower here. Now, it's going to look pretty much the same for now, but once we go up just a little bit further, once we get back to the point where all those ghosts were, that's when things were a little bit different. Suddenly, Yarg! <laughs> Do you really think there are ghosts in here? Huh, Psycho, what's that? The Silscope revealed the ghost's true form. The true form is... They're actually still ghosts! Wow, we uncovered the ghosts to find ghosts. That's crazy. So those ghosts were actually Pokemon. Uh, yeah, Pokemon ghosts. So now we can actually catch ghost Pokemon here. We can catch Ghastly. We can even catch Haunter. So what do you say we go and do that, Crud? So here is Ghastly. Ghost and poison type Pokemon. Now he'd be very easy to catch with an Ultra Ball. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do it. We've got lots of Ultra Balls. Why not? Uh, you Crudder. Yeah, he's very flo float. He loves to zip around. I'm waiting for him to move so I can throw my balls at him. Ah, you know what? I didn't get the excellent, but with an Ultra Ball, this might be okay. Come on. 
Yeah, first try, dude! The ghost and poison Pokemon, the gas Pokemon, said to appear in decrepit, deserted buildings. It has no real shape, as it appears to be made of a gas. I feel like Ghastly's name is already kind of a joke. Hmm. I just picked some random letters. This guy's name is Quirsley. All right, so now we just need to make our way to the top of the tower, but if we do find a hunter along the way, I will try and capture that. But I'll just, uh, go up and see what happens. I guess I kind of wasted my time healing at the Pokemon Center before back in Celadon City, considering we're gonna heal on the way up the tower anyways, but... Yeah, well, it's not a big deal. I actually have not seen any Pokemon popping out, so no more Ghastly. Where the Crud's Haunter at? And by the way, just so you know, Haunter is very, very large. So if they do pop out, you're not gonna miss it, most likely. Well, I guess we're just moving on then. We don't see any Haunter or any Ghastly. Be gone. Be gone, intruders! Yeah! This one's even bigger than the last one! Psycho, use the thing! The thing you used last time! So sad, dude. The true form of the ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. The mother's spirit was calmed, returning to its kind and gentle nature. It departed to the afterlife and disappeared. Cubone, you... You just came here because you wanted to see your mom again, huh? Q. Sorry for thinking your mom was scary, Cubone. Psycho, I... I don't want to leave Cubone alone like this. I'm gonna go take it home. Oh, if there's someone named Fuji upstairs, do you think you could see him home too? Um, you sure you're okay by yourself, dude? Uh, I'll be fine. I'm with Cubone now, after all. You've gotten pretty gutsy, haven't you, Psycho? What? You rescued Cubone from Team Rocket? When did you go and get that strong? Right. Well then, guess I'll leave this up to you, Psycho. Come on, Cubone. Q. Man, that crowd is so sad, dude. But we do have a little bit more to do here in the Pokemon Tower. First up, we do need to grab another PP up. We've got quite a lot of those today. But let's go on down this way. Just gonna double check. I always want to double check, make sure I don't miss any hidden items. Well, this is a not so hidden item, a rare candy. I might need to use that one on Aya, honestly. What the crud? What are you doing here, Golbat? You're not Hunter. Well, I already have a Golbat. I already have a shiny Golbat as well, so we're pretty much good to move on. All right, here we go, the very top of the tower. And that right there, I think, is Mr. Fuji. Oh, suddenly, you guys! Stop right there, criminal scum. We'll be going first. With that specter out of the way, we can finally get to the top. You're the old geezer they call Mr. Fuji, right? Uh, you're going to be repeating your Pokemon research for the glory of Team Rocket. Mr. Fuji. Oh, that's a lot of dots, dude. He collects them. He's a dot collector. Ignore us all you like. We're used to it. We won't take no for an answer. You'll help the boss whether you want to or not. Not if I have anything to say about it. And boy, do I love talking. Gramps here thinks he can resist, so we're setting him straight. You'd better disappear, twerp, or be prepared to fight. Oh gosh, what are they gonna make some kind of make it double joke, some double bubble chewing gum? Well, here we've got Team Rocket, Jesse and James once again. And once again, we got a duel battle. This might be the last episode that has two duel ba battles in it. Who knows, man? We got Weezing and Arbok. This time, setting up the big guns, dude, we've got Freya and we've got Douglas. We already know Douglas is amazing against this, but last time, I didn't do so well, man. I think I'm gonna go for... Let's do a little bit of sizzly slide on Weezing. And over on Douglas, we'll go ahead and do Dig. We'll do that one on Arbok, and we'll see how that plays out here. Okay, Sizzly Slide does not do that much, but the more important thing, it gets that burn. So it's going to start chipping away at him, and it's also going to uh, reduce his attack power. 
So that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and do a sizzly slide. You know, you, you, you know what? Let's go do double edge instead. I know we're going to take a lot of recoil damage, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure Douglas is about to defeat Arbok anyways. So using a sizzly slide on them, yeah, would have been a waste. So there we go. Arbok is down. Let's go see how much this double edge is going to do both to him and to us here. Come on, Freya. Get that double edge. Such a cool animation on that one. Not enough to defeat him, though. He goes for Sludge Bomb. It's going to be on Freya, of course, because you can't Sludge Bomb uh, Douglas. We do get poisoned. That's a bummer. But he also gets hit by the burn. So I'm going to go ahead and have Douglas do Slash. We'll keep it simple here. And we'll have uh, Freya do some Bouncy Bubble. All right. Will this be enough to take down this Weezing? The Slash... That does it. Gosh dang, Douglas. You need to calm down, man. You're too strong. Douglas has very quickly become one of our most powerful Pokemon. Well... I would say maybe our most powerful, but Freya is still ridiculous, so who knows, man. But yeah, this guy's fast, he's strong, and now he's learning a very powerful ground-type attack, Earthquake. Now, Dig, Dig is pretty fancy, 80 power, but it takes two turns. Earthquake, 100 power, and it does not take two turns, so we are going to go ahead... Actually, you know what? I was going to say we'll replace Dig. I'm going to replace Tri-Attack, because I will never use Tri-Attack on Douglas. So there we go, we learn Earthquake, one of the best moves in the game. What do you want? You'll regret this. Okay, well, down those buttheads go once and for all. Nah, I don't know. Ugh, seriously, again? Looks like Operation Stealthily Kidnap Fuji is a bust then. Don't you think I know that? It'll be fine. We just have to help out with the takeover of Silco in Saffron City. Well, I wonder what their plans are. Hmm, looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Well, let's go see if Mr. Fuji will talk to us. He kind of gave them the cold shoulder. Well, let's see what Freya has to say here. Uh, they look exasperated again. Okay. Hey, Mr. Fuji. Hmm. He's still a dot collector. Hey, buddy. Oh, and who might you be? You came to save me from Team Rocket. Thanks, but I didn't even notice they were here. He didn't even notice them, dude. I was too busy trying to calm the spirit of Marowak. Oh, I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home. It's the Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. All right, let's do it. And it'll just teleport us here. So, Psycho, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, it will be hard to complete such a task. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. And here we get the Poke Flute. This will definitely help us. Heck yeah, man. Upon hearing the Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it if you ever find a sleeping Pokemon. I wonder where we could find such a thing, a sleeping Pokemon. Well, you guys, I don't know how long this is after editing, but I'm guessing this is a very long episode. So, I mean, it's episode 15, the best episode, so it has to be longer. Right? We gotta make it something special. But yeah, we just had a lot to get done, and we did it! So we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up here for today. We'll come back next time, and Team Rocket there was just talking about Silco. I would like to stop Team Rocket once and for all, considering they didn't let me join. So maybe next episode we'll go and see if we can stop them in the Silph Co. in Saffron City as well. I'll see you guys then. Take care!